What's up everyone, TechCloud here and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can install the Windows Phone 8.1 preview, the developer preview on your uh, Windows Phone. This tutorial is uh, specifically for the Nokia phones. The reason is because it is uh, possible that if you don't like the Windows 8.1 preview, then you can uh, go back to your uh, previous uh, or you can say the original Nokia firmware, the Windows Phone 8. However, for the other devices, uh, currently it's not possible. So if you are uh, not uh, using any Nokia Lumia device, then please don't follow this procedure. So in order to install, uh, first you need a developer account. In order to make the developer account, you need to go to the appstudio.windowsphone.com website. I'm going to put the link in the description as well so that uh, you can access the website easily. So in the right top corner, you can see the start new project uh, button. So in order to get the developer account, just click this uh, button start new project and it will ask you to sign into your uh, account that you use on your uh, Nokia Lumia phone. So sign into your uh, account and once you are uh, signed into your account, you will uh, see this message and uh, you need to actually provide the permission and you need to click uh, yes here. And uh, you have to go to your phone and uh, search for preview for developers. This is the app for uh, from Microsoft install this app on your uh, phone. Once the app is installed, you need to open the app and uh, you need to agree with the terms and conditions and uh, Microsoft is actually going to warn you that uh, you won't be able to go back to the original state. Once again, you need to sign into this uh, app and now you need to enable the preview for the developers click done and it will show you success press the close button or done button and now you are ready to go now all you need to do is either you have to wait for the automatic update or you can go to the settings and then find the phone update once uh, you go to the phone update, click uh, check for updates and it's going to check for updates and finally it's going to find a update. This update is actually not a Windows 8.1, uh, it's still Windows 8 update. However, this update is going to prepare your uh, phone in order to receive the new Windows 8.1 preview. So let this update download and uh, once uh, it will download, it will uh, install your uh, phone. It will restart your phone and uh, it will uh, install this update on your phone. So don't worry if your uh, phone restart uh, after the update download is finished. It says that uh, your update is ready to install. Click uh, install and it's gonna restart your phone as it is stated here so it will restart and it will start installing the update and that's how your screen will look like during the update process once the update is installed your phone will uh, reboot uh, normally and you will uh, see this message on your screen now all you need to do is press the done button and go to the settings and the phone update again and check for the update again. So this time it's gonna look for the Windows Phone 8.1 preview and it's gonna download and install the update on your phone. So all these update uh, it's gonna take uh, quite a long time so don't worry if your phone uh, appears to stuck uh, for quite a while during the update, it's actually not stuck. However, it's taking longer time and uh, the updates, both the updates actually took uh, much longer time. So now it is uh, downloading the update and it's gonna take a few seconds or a couple of minutes. Once the update is downloaded and it will show you the message that the update is ready to install. 
and this time you can see it shows uh, Windows Phone 8.1 and uh, check out the firmware version as well click install and the update is going to install uh, pretty soon this is the agreement and uh, click install again and now it's gonna restart your phone and uh, once again it's gonna install the update on your uh, phone I prepared uh, this uh, video away from uh, my camera equipment so I'm actually making this video using the Samsung Galaxy S5 so I'm sorry about the bad uh, video quality and the shaky video because I'm hand holding the Samsung Galaxy S5 so now the phone is uh, going to restart and uh, it's going to install the update so it's gonna take long time just uh, leave the phone and uh, let it do its thing and uh, once it's finished it's gonna reboot into Windows Phone 8.1 preview So now the update is complete and uh, you need to unlock uh, your phone and uh, you will see this message update successful and uh, congratulations the Windows Phone 8.1 uh, preview the developer preview is installed on your phone and this is the new settings you can uh, check or uncheck the Wi-Fi sense and some additional settings depending upon your uh, preference whether you want to use the Wi-Fi sense or not personally I will not be using the Wi-Fi sense so I'm going to uncheck uh, those boxes however I'm going to use the automatic, uh, automatically update uh, store apps and uh, also I'm going to uncheck the let's let apps use my advertising ID for experiences across apps I don't want to do that you might actually want to do that so it totally depends on you you can uh, set your preference uh, accordingly according to your preference but these preference will not make any difference to your uh, installation rather it is basically a way to control your phone whether you want to share your uh, Wi-Fi access with your uh, contacts or not so I don't want to do that so that's why I'm going to uncheck you might uh, choose to do different once you have chosen the options uh, press the done button and you will be back to the start screen and you will receive this uh, message from Nokia so this is uh, how the Windows Phone 8.1 looks like and uh, once again congratulations on getting the Windows Phone 8.1 developer preview so enjoy this uh, Windows 8.1 even before its release please uh, do consider that this is not the final release so there will be some bugs and uh, there will be some issues uh, with this uh, release so if you want uh, to run your phone in totally stable environment then uh, i will advise to stay away from uh, this update however if you are actually a geek and you want to try something new then uh, go ahead because uh, you can always install the official nokia firmware but keep in mind actually you will lose your uh, data in that process if you haven't backed up your data so guys uh, i hope uh, that you have uh, liked the video and uh, Please subscribe for uh, more useful videos like that and uh, gaming videos and subscribe to my photography channel as well. Take care. See you later. Bye.